you got to know about what is to be done to ensure the business goes up right true or anything which goes up bound to come down true or not and even to go up there are few things required which plays a very very important role you know i always talk about there are three things in this business if you do three things follow 100% these three things you are done number one is having a right mindset mindset means i'm not talking about whether you believe in the company or not whether you believe in the business or industry or not whether you have a dream or not all these things are in place you are hungry also you are angry also but if you do not have a positive attitude i mean to say that generally lot of people generally focus on what is not happening right correct rather than looking at what is happening right which basically making them always crib and when you always crib nothing you you are not able to attract right you know because life will never be perfect it will never be perfect and in business even when you are maxing out consistently still challenges will be there challenges still will be there correct but you will be able to handle them without concern about financial worries right but whether you are maxing out or in the process of maxing out or you are a beginner the first thing you know where exactly your mind always goes things not happening or things happening right how many people feel that that business is rocking for them how many people are very happy about the business how many people rest all are not happy why because something is not happening but what stop you being happy by just thinking that you got something at least to work upon there are people in this world who will come and die and nobody will approach them for this business true or not so a state of mind are you happy if you are happy you will attract happiness and do you think people would like to work with someone who is always sad who is always cribbing about something who is always having a problem that does not mean someone who is happy is not having a problem or not having challenges but that person is so kicked about those things in life which are happening right other things is just a passing phase yeah so first thing is that i am not going to talk too much about it i can speak on that for whole day so that's that's the ultimate thing to have your state of mind and second thing is again activity you know our avp uh, our vp spoke about activities right talk to more people talk to more people talk to more people right what was that dream big talk to people right so talk to people means activity if you have a right mindset but no activity you're gone you will become a preacher correct you will become a preacher and third very important thing is very very tight communication very very tight communication with your active and growing upline out of these three things even if one is missing if one is missing you still will struggle all three are very important because if you have if you don't have a right state of mind you are doing a lot of activities and also you are in tight communication with upline right i am not using a word called counseling counseling is a very later stage first is communication a lot of people struggle in that lot of people struggle in that i'll come to that why they struggle into that so if third thing is also in place but first thing is not in place you will do lot of activities tight communication but you will not 
get proper result and speed because your state of mind is not ready to accept that you are not able to attract that if you have right state of mind but no activity and tight communication with upline also then also you know you will become lover lover of this business because you learn a lot of things from applying and you have a right state of mind also but you are not doing anything if you have first two things in place but third thing is not there you know that is the worst thing to have because you have a right mindset which lot of people don't have and it takes a lot of time to have that kind of a mindset you have you are doing a lot of activities but you don't even know whether you are to good whether you are going in the right direction or not and then result will not come and if result are not going to come how long you can have a right mindset do you think you will be able to have that mindset for a very long time not at all but why people struggle in that it's a very simple stuff it's a very 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 simple stuff tight communication right why people struggle first reason why people struggle is they think they know everything because of their corporate or past avatar you know they feel that they know a lot and what we talk in qualifier that you need to learn and change the first step towards learning and changing is basically basically unlearning right and that's what exactly is the most difficult part you know it's not about only with applying when you come to event when you go to system you know when anybody is talking to you who's been there for a long time and who's already there you know probably where you are not right now but still because you have few stars on the shoulder because of the past avatar you know you start judging you stop listening you start talking more correct you need to understand that you know how to check whether you are you know whether you are empty cup or not how to check how do you check how do you check whether you are empty cup or not if you are getting time to spend with upline or a grand upline or or cross line but successful right you need to see who's talking more even when you talk on phone you know are you talking to tell how much you know or you are you talking or are you listening to seek what i don't know because you have to show that see i am also coming from somewhere but how does it help in this business i've seen people calling upline every day because communication right but upline is talking less and the person is talking more right and telling look i have done this i have done that i have done this i am i am doing so well right in the business also and believe me till the time you are not listening and you are not in a seeker mode you a mature upline will not start giving you because it's a waste do that person is having a lot of pe other people who are ready who can understand in less words do you know that why exactly god gave us two ears and one mouth only the logic behind it right the logic behind it now you need to need to check whether you are using mouth like a ear like there are two mouths are you listening more or talking more 
I still remember when we used to sit with, I used to sit with my upline, my mentor. After 10, 11 o'clock, four, five of us used to sit, and most of the time we used to be quiet. Only time when we used to open our mouth, it was to laugh because he cracked a joke, even if he didn't understand. <laughs> Correct? Because you know, don't know when this time will come back again. And same thing applied today also. Last night we got an opportunity to spend with we partner Sati from 10 o'clock till 6 a.m. in the morning. I guess hardly four or five sentences spoken. Grasp. Because proving someone how good you are will not take you anywhere. But seeking from someone who knows more than you will definitely take you somewhere. And the reason behind that, why we don't do that is ego. Big ego. Correct? That forces us to judge someone that forces us to, you know, not to listen to someone and speak more. And it plays a very important role in emptying your cup. And believe me, if your cup is not empty, no matter even Dato comes and coach you or guide you, you will not be able to. In fact, as I said, a mature upline will not waste too much of time in giving you something which is valuable because you are not ready to receive. I don't mean to say that they will leave your hand, but they will wait for the right time to come. I adopted a philosophy always because there is very less time and there are a lot of people, right? I try with a person once or twice, not physically I mean to say, if the person from here is not sorted, I mean to say, if it, the person is not ready to receive, I don't give unnecessary gun. If the person is not ready to receive, are you getting me? If the person is having a baggage, of course, for relationship, I spend a lot of time, everything is fine. But till the time, the bigger ego, bigger baggage, you know, more full cup, there is no point. Do you want that to happen with you? And then you will come on knees and then you will receive everything. And believe me, it is so easy after some time with that person, because that person goes so much down inside the ground, it is easy to explain him. Because then that person is ready, the person is shattered. But why do you need to reach at that stage? Why can't we empty our cup in the beginning itself? Correct. When we go to school for the first time, when we are a child, do we question on processes there? Do we question on teacher? Do we question on a, on a school discipline or something, right? No. Why? Because we don't know anything. There is no conditioning, right? And we always talk about that this business you need to do like a child. How difficult it is to become a child. I'll tell you, if you want to check whether you are full cup or not, or whether your cup is getting emptied or not, if when others are dancing crazily, still you are not able to release yourself, your ego is coming in between. You are not, you are not ready to become a child. 
and obviously if ego is there that means there it is coming everywhere everywhere correct that's why why do you think there's so much of music so much of dance because we want everyone to come back in the childhood days and shed all ego how many people sitting are here were uncomfortable on the first day in dancing like crazy how many people are still uncomfortable it's okay you need to know right it's okay but if you are aware about your state of mind you will be able to work upon that faster correct so empty the cup is the most important thing in the beginning itself are you ready to learn from scratch you may be the champion in your own field but is it going to give you what you want in life if yes then why till date it has not given you correct and with applying of course you know these things you know when you spend a lot of time with with your immediate applying or someone who's working it's easy to shed this ego probably you may preach as others you may preach a system and all that that's a process you know you will become better over a period of time when you will stop preaching anyone there will be no ego with anyone you will you will be ready to learn from anyone but at least start with upline start with an upline and how that will happen how that will happen are you spending enough time with your upline are you spending do you know your upline very well nobody is perfect right nobody is perfect in this world everyone is improving so do you know where your upline is awesome or you only meet your upline when you have to show a plan or when you have to do activity with him offline timings you know this business is all about duplication not duplicating the mechanics because mechanics can be duplicated overnight if i tell you okay we will show the plan to you and tomorrow morning exactly same plan you have to show you will get 5 crores how many people will be able to do that everyone right so duplicating mechanics is like this and most of the people focus on duplicating mechanics only mock plan mock call i don't know what all mock are you getting but duplicating a thought process duplicating a thought process are you thinking exactly the same way your mentor is thinking or your upline is thinking and that can only happen when you know how he thinks or she thinks and how will you get to know when you spend a lot of time when you spend a lot of time when you spend a lot of time more than learning first is you will build a relationship you will build a relationship because if there is no relationship personal relationship right if there is no personal relationship the moment your business starts growing there will be a conflict because more number of people more conflict and the conflict can only get resolved if you will have a discontent with each other difference of opinion and believe me that is a beginning of a collapse of an organization i've seen a lot of organization which does not grow at all i mean to say reach top again little bit up again down again up again down why and the first reason is upline downline relationship sucks now ask yourself don't try to be good ask yourself 
your relationship with your upline and your relationship with your downline as upline where you will rate that 1 to 10 in a scale of 1 to 10 starting from 1 where exactly you will rate leave business aside do you know each other well do you understand each other's intent i'm not talking about action i'm not talking about behavior i'm not talking about you know style do you understand each other's intent do you communicate enough about your own intent you know each other's intent because once you understand the intent then difference in style difference in opinion can be sorted can be sorted because when you understand the intent and mostly if the intent is right there will be hard to at connect you fall in love and then the, everything starts happening properly and how exactly it is going to happen spending more time now is it easy no not at all because you have to show a lot of plans trainings this that you have to go home also on time you have to cut down sleep when first two years of the business never reached home before 3 or 3 4 o'clock am 3 4 am last two days last two 48 hours out of 48 hours in the morning i slept why because previous night i was sitting with my upline before that night i was sitting with my downlines that is the most important thing what is you know i've seen people no it's too late i have to go and sleep right and people don't value that that time spent that small little time every day every day every day every day makes a difference and when we started business why the hell for long time there is no conflict i mean it was a big conflict because five six of us who started together spend maximum time we used to be crazy to spend time with each other whether it is on the road from 2 am to 4 am after finishing we used to hug 10 times okay bye bye and then still standing there you know and still it happens and major learning happens that time only so relationship when you spend a lot of time duplication of a mindset you know once you are start understand intent after a, having a relationship you know then only you give a trespass then only you give a trespass i'm talking to someone who is new in the business i mean to say maybe 2 years up to 2 years but there's another stage there's another stage wherein you know you are in tight communication you have awesome bonding you understand each other well right and then over a period of time you become a mirror to each other then there's no upline there's no downline there's no upline there's no downline of course in genealogy there is but then actually both help each other to grow as an individual you blink of your eyes and make them understand exactly what are you in a good mood or a bad mood or their blink will make you understand you know and then there's no upline downline of course there are two mirrors you know my leaders are my mirror if they are not my mirror i will never be able to improve because i don't get that much of time from my mentor which i used to get before because he's also busy i'm also busy but of course if there are 10 leaders who are so close 
even if some time spent with them make us understand where we need to improve and survive ourselves also and believe me if at all your leaders are not better than you you have not done your job you have not done your job you have not done your job means again there was a ego there was a ego you never wanted them to be better than you somewhere in the subconscious mind you never wanted them to be better than you that's why they are not better but if they are better than you then they will make you better further but for that again there is a huge a big relationship required understanding the intent i've seen people cribbing the business sucks only because of this piece only because of this piece talent fire dreams activity everything there no in my language i generally tell wo chidiya utki atki hui hai ek ek jagah chidiya atki hui hai apply in downline relationship mein and why it happens because you start competing with your upline or is apply and start competing with you you know it's stupidity the essence of the business actually you're losing you know you wanted your downline to grow faster now he is going faster so you have a competition you are insecure why you not understood the business you getting me and it does not happen with only upline downline you know upline downline cross line you no know? so every time every now and then maybe every 6 weeks or you know 3 months you need to sit and check on this piece piece upline downline cross line relationship first of all new relationship and second where are the old relationship going is it deteriorating or it is becoming better you will always have a complaint that we are not able to spend time the way we used to spend before but still what made you change about you no know, about the understanding about the intent of that person and i'll tell you the indicator and when you become successful when you are you have some level achieved i i mean you say you are on your own then you don't need upline you don't need upline anyway for the business but believe me i can give in writing i can give in writing you are growing with an upline with your own effort and then you reach somewhere you know you are an icon right and then you don't need upline because you know everything about the networking right correct but you know what you don't know now you are in a self destruction mode you are in a self destruction mode you understand this i'm this is not for many of you but few can understand what i'm talking self destruction mode because all this while you wanted to be successful and now you are successful so your cup is again full your cup is again full and there is no mirror also now there is no mirror which will tell you how ugly you started looking after becoming successful that's what exactly is a self destruction mode and believe me if you go far up you need to be you need to have someone to ensure that you don't come down otherwise all the efforts will be wasted you know and to ensure whether you are really really still holding that rope with the person or not maybe not by spending physical time because you are also busy right but you know i generally check one thing with my upline 
with myself actually is there anything in my life which is hidden from my upline not because i want a solution is there anything do i need to manipulate something while communicating with my upline or i am stripped there is no skin left on on the skeleton i don't know maybe bouncer to lot of you people right but that's a fact you need to check whether whatever stage you are in you need to keep checking that in last few months is there anything or last few years or whatever is there anything which you tried manipulating you know for whatever reason ultimate reason is ultimate reason is your understanding about the intent is getting lost somewhere that's why you're doing this your understanding about the intent of each other is lost somewhere check is there anything which is which you need to think before even talking think in the sense you may be talking right or do you need to manipulate or do you need to sugar coat or something with time it has to be more straight right correct when exactly last time you sat with an upline with all the success and actually you discussed you know i am too scared when i feel that i there's no there's no area of improvement you know that time i get scared that is the time i go and bang my head with my upline tell me something to work upon tell me something to work upon i have my own battles own hang ups but thank god you know today my understanding about intent of my own up upline you know is so clear both of us are so clear we don't judge each other we don't judge i may do a blunder he may do a blunder and we know about it right but we will not judge based on that because if i start judging him i will stop my receiver will stop receiving and i've seen you know we partners having relationship between them and that's how exactly they work nobody is perfect are you getting me but you are you holding on are you moving on finally who's going to lose i go and ask him always tell me something and when you spend more and more time automatically you don't have to ask you will get automatically right and that is the time if you are an upline you need to hold you know sometimes it happens you become so busy being an upline you stop thinking you are downline also right who's going to lose who's going to lose Are you getting me? If today, if I free my upline, it's good for him, right? He's free. But if I make him free, how will I be financially free? How will I remain financially free, rather, right? And I'm holding on to so many people, their hand. If my hand is having no grip, it's their life which is on danger. because i still don't know what you know you getting me there's always a edge you may be you may become ultimate we partner but still your upline is having little more experience you getting me little more experience 
and probably that person can see something which probably you will face later you want to know it well in advance or you want to face it fight it waste time and then get to know correct so ultimately it's all about it takes a lot of time it is not overnight trespass right we were talking about this is the next stage which i am talking about trespass was the first stage and trespass cannot be taken you know do i have a trespass i never ask this to anyone of course for the sake of saying it's okay even if you say yes i'll never tell you it's not it comes automatically the day i start feeling you will understand the intent behind what i'm telling rather than going on the words you know so trespass is is a different you know till that time you sugar coat it's okay but all these things starts coming from emptying the cup and then relationship and for these two things you need to shed your ego which is the biggest hurdle right i still know people asking what are, what is going to get covered in the training please tell me in advance so that i can decide whether to come or not no but i feel pity okay no how many people are angry with their applying angry ha huh? hypocrites how many people angry with their applying how many people communicated that they are angry with their applying communicated angry and communicated how many people are not able to do that you know what if you're not able to do that that shows that there is no relationship you're scared you are scared a network cannot be built on a fear it cannot be built on a fear you are scared or you if you are applying downlines are scared there has to be freedom to communicate and that comes only when you understand the intent and that starts from relationship spending a lot of time right are you a preacher are you ready to learn from your own downline that's the best example of emptying the cup if you are an upline do you know that your downlines are pissed because of you do you know that are you sure they are not are you sure they are not pissed i know my uh, my own leaders are pissed because of me and i can sense it but they are free to get pissed i will work and make it okay i will get pissed they will get pissed but still if the intent in relationship continues this is how exactly relationship are you not pissed sometime with your spouse that does not means the end of relationship you getting me when you communicate it becomes stronger you know go to your downlines go to your leaders mature leaders and ask are you pissed because of something you know and then when they tell you what is going on in your head actually makes you feel whether that ego is still there or not whether you are able to understand intent or not you know go to your cross lines and ask are you pissed and what's the reason don't 
manipulate relationships now if we know we need to maintain a relationship right correct for the heck of maintaining relationship please don't manipulate it starts thinking after some time don't manipulate either agree or disagree you getting me and then you see if these three dots gets connected up line down line cross line these three in terms of relationship number 1 but for this you have to empty your cup you have to shed your ego you have to give trespass to each other and it's a process it will not happen every few months it will go to the next stage go to the next stage and don't do it only till the time you are there where you want to be because if you want to remain there also then also you have to have to go to the next stage it will collapse otherwise it's a journey to become a better person and who can make you better only these two people who are up who are down and who are side and again for that you have to shed your ego no how many people feel that they are stupid how many people feel that they are really really stupid on stupid things you actually spoil your own head you bang your head on stupid things which are not so important how many people are not ready or not able to accept that they are stupid somewhere they feel okay they might be stupid but yeah but you know how many people you need to break through you need to get a breakthrough from here you know can we promise ourselves how many people have a compelling reason that and for that reason this business is needed and reaching there is a non negotiable it is do or die situation you know and now because of the stupid ego if you are not going to go there and you will die broke is it okay no. then what stops you in shedding this ego what stops you maintaining a better relationship everywhere all across what made you compete with others this business is not about competition this business is not about competition if others are competing with you it's okay leave them they are yet to grow but you grow first this business is not about competition you have to compete with only one person that is you yourself no one else no one else then why you do such things which makes you look better in front of so many other people which is not real you you getting me this is all function of a ego i don't have a ego you were not having a ego that is why you got what you got but you if you really want to retain all that you know that ego has already come up that arrogance so can we start from today as if you are starting now this business with a empty cup are we ready to accept that we are stupid yes. are you sure yes. stand up can you transmit a signal to your universe that you are accepting that you are stupid how many people are ready you know you have to speak loudly you know and reach it to the reach to the universe that you are accepting that you are stupid and then you know it will start giving you more so that you improve right so what is to be done for that you know 
few people are i am still uh, i mean say that ego is not letting it out you know are you passionate about your dream yeah. with that passion you have to get this bloody ego out yeah. i know i know few people are still struggling it's okay few people are still struggling even to utter that word do you know where how much we carry inside it's a simple stuff i am stupid your entire energy need to come out you'll feel lighter your entire energy how many people are out of breath how many people lost their voices you know you cannot tell i am stupid i am stupid i am stupid you getting me the, you are sending a signal it is not just voice there is a vibration inside you which will throw this out you will feel exhausted after that wo hindu matlab hi dega devi aati na devi uske baad aadmi kaisa ho jata hai <laughs> so it is up to you do you want to shed this give your best and transmit this signal to universe and believe me today onwards this ego don't allow this ego to come back go to your upline and tell that i was stupid don't tell but you were also stupid huh <laughs> don't expect a change from your downline or upline or your cross line when you realize you goofed up if you realized that yes work upon yourself others will work on themselves don't expect a change no i have changed but he is not changed right it's okay it's okay leave this baggage it's not going to go take you anywhere it's not going to take you anywhere whether it is your old friend or your brother or sister or a stranger who's an upline or a downline you know meet them on a break don't eat lunch because it is going to feed this feed this first you know meet them tell them what do you love about them tell them where exactly you behave like an arrogant dash dash and please stop looking at start looking what is good how that person can help you whether it is up line down line or cross line believe me success will definitely come but the mental peace which you will get will be bigger than a success You're getting me? Nobody is perfect, but you need to see a perfection in that person. Then people will see a perfection in you. Because money will come if you don't. If you're not happy, if you're not at peace, believe me, you will be lonely over there. Nobody will be there with you, and that is. a worse situation to have that is a worse situation to have you know don't try to be perfect it's okay to accept if you goofed up it's okay because as i said after some time you are mirror to each other fine 
But how that person is taking it's okay. Leave it. But how you should take it, you need to know. You can control your mind, not his mind. But you will see over a period of time, that person will start respecting you more. No? So can we start a new journey from today? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. So try start building business like a stupid today onwards and don't forget to meet key people right and especially if there is a bitterness sort it out in the lunch by just giving a hug and telling sorry to each other and tell I am going to change but I need you I need you because I am nothing without you and I am telling from here all the people at the back be it founders, other course and my own team you know what guys Kavita, Sharfun, Vijay Vivek and all others I know I goofed up multiple times but I love you guys and all of you actually we need all of you Dave is not here Tanaz, Manish Bhai everyone you know done I goofed up multiple times but I promise every time I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. The only thing is that I, I'm nothing without them. Nothing without them. Need them. Thank you very much. <laughs>